For this assignment, I chose to focus on John Hubley. He was born in 1914 to John and Verena Hubley. His mother, Verena, was a painter. He died in 1997 after an impressive career as an animator. If you're like me, you probably haven't heard of John Hubley, but despite his lack of mainstream fame, his work is nothing short of incredible. He was born in Marinette, Wisconsin, where he spent his childhood. After high school, he moved to Los Angeles, California to study painting at the Art Center College of Design, where he spent three years. Following, he began his career first at Disney, then he moved to Screen Gems, the UPA, and eventually Storyboard, Inc. His career at Disney began in 1936 as an assistant background painter on the film Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Disney's first full-length feature film. After that, he became a director for Disney and worked on films such as Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo, and Bambi. But in 1941, he left Disney's studio after a strike against unfair separation of employees. At Screen Gems, his next job, he was a designer and then a director. He is most famously known for The Races of Mankind, a commissioned pamphlet for the United Productions of America, or UPA. This pamphlet made a statement about equality among different races and would eventually be banned. After having commissioned work with the UPA in 1946, he became the creative head of the studio when the ownership of UPA changed. He directed short films on flight safety, including flight safety landing accidents, which were for Navy pilots. In 1952, though, he was forced to leave when the House Committee on Un-American Activities, HUAC, investigated the UPA for communist activity. Finally, John and his wife, Faith, created Storyboard, Inc. It's an animation company that was based out of New York and they mostly focused on advertising but still included Hubley's modern and independent animation, especially in their per more personal films such as Moonbird, which was produced in 1959, which featured the voices of his children, Ray and Mark. John's influences were many, but they included, among others, Disney, social and political issues, and family. Disney influenced him in a sort of anti-Disney, anti-establishment way. He did not follow the rules or regiment he had learned at Disney, and he did not try to appease mainstream media like the Disney studios were known for. Social and political issues were important to John. For example, racism, the UPA, wartime, and communism are all things he felt strongly about. His family, though, is perhaps his most influential factor in his films. His mother, who is a painter, inspired him to be a painter as well. His wife, Faith, and kids, Emily, Georgia, Mark, and Ray, all helped him create his films, and create films today. John's style was different for the time. It was modern, simplistic, and often surreal. He channeled artists such as Picasso, Klee, and Matisse. They were mostly 2D drawn animations like the pictures above and they employed various mediums such as watercolor and oil, among other traditional techniques. Most of his films make it feel as if you were in some sort of dream. His legacy is great. 
He created these films, among many others. Um, his film Moonbird won an Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film in its year. And he also left behind a legacy of what it looks like to think outside the box and create independent films and make statements through those films. His family outlived him and his wife and children continued his legacy within the film industry.